All right, hi guys, Paul with GMP Performance South Atlanta. I'm the store manager here. Hey guys, I'm Jared Bice, a technician here at GMP Performance South Atlanta. Uh, we get a lot of questions about timing chains. So we're gonna go over kind of uh, components, the ins and outs of them today, kind of why it's important to check them. Um, you know, a lot of these cars, which to us still seem new, uh, but the, some of the Mark Fives, late Mark Fives, Mark Sixes and Mark Sevens, uh, which is the uh, uh, chain driven engines, um, those two liter turbocharged engines and some of the three liters actually in the Audis end up with uh, chain stretch issues. So there's ways to check those and we're gonna kind of go over those, kind of show you what components that are replaced during those uh, kind of services and, and go from there. All right, well, let's start with the outside of the motor. Yep. Right here, you got your upper timing cover. These tend to leak. They're made of plastic and they have a rubber gasket around the outside. They, the heat from the engine bay causes these to warp and a lot of times these will be leaking components. So every time we replace timing chains, this is one of the components we replace. We got the lower timing cover. These, not really common to leak, but they do have a seal around here that uh, seals against the crank pulley and they can leak there. Um, you'll also note here we have a plug. This is what you'll find out later. Uh, is the gives us the ability to be able to check your tensioner to see what position it is and how far your chain is stretched out. And what style tensioner you have. Yep. Uh, we'll go into that a little bit later, but there are two styles of tensioners, and we'll kind of touch base on that in a minute here. One other point with this lower cover is a lot of times when you're doing timing chain jobs, they can be, there's a lot of pieces. So sometimes people try and reuse some of these pieces. Uh, the big thing with these lower covers is, as Jared said, you know, with the upper covers, they warp the lower covers. These are used with uh, your used sealant to actually put these on the engine. So when you have to take this off, you're taking the bolts out, you're cutting and you're prying those off. If you don't replace this cover, which we always do, you will have tendencies to leak just like the upper covers. And I guess we can get to the main component here, uh, the tensioner, which is prone to failing on the older styles. And uh, on the newer styles, you're able to see the ribs on the inside. And we'll get a closer up photo for you guys here in a second. Uh, you can check the position of how far out the tensioner is, and that basically gives you how much chain stretch you have. And you can count those ribs, as you'll see in the picture here. Um, the old style tensioner, you're gonna see, this is a new style. So the new style tensioner is, is designed this way. It's got a different clip, and this retainer clip is different than the old style. The old style, as you see in the picture, has a black ring here. That's how you can kind of see, see the difference. Um, Volkswagen, Audi actually did a recall on those due to failure. So as we go into checking those, there will be times when you can get the car in, obviously for us to check that. We'll look at that. If it is the old style tension, we'll always recommend replacing timing chains. Cool. So I guess we can get down to the timing chain here. This is it. You got your different marks for when you're putting the vehicle in time, the darker links here. And basically what happens over time uh, as your tensioner keeps constant tension, the chain tends to stretch. And when the chain stretches and the tensioner is all the way maxed out, there's nothing holding tension on the chain. So it will tend to jump on either the crank gear, which we have one up right here. Skip a teeth. It'll skip a tooth or it could potentially skip a tooth up top on the cams. And uh, that would you know, result in detrimental damage to your engine bending valves, which you do not want. With the, uh, the chains, you have guides. These are the guides. We always replace the guides with new chains. They're not failure points, but they are plastic and they can get brittle over time. So we always recommend replacing these. We have these for the main chain and the balance shaft chain. So your, uh, these uh, TSI motors have balance shafts to keep vibrations down. And uh, we like to replace these because they are prone to stretch as well. Uh, but we don't too, see too many failures on these. And then they have their own guides as well. This is the uh, tensioner for that chain. Um, and then one of the other components we'll replace, uh, camshafts have uh, what they call a spool valve. Okay, this is what actually works with, uh, you know, with the engine for VVT, variable valve timing. Um, and then Jared's holding here, this is a cam bridge. Um, the reason we replace these is because as these engines are getting older, a lot of times you end up with slight scoring here. Sometimes people have been in there. There's a screen back here. Oftentimes when we check those, that'll be torn out. So we want to obviously put a new cam bridge on there so you don't have that kind of you know floating around in there. So there's a lot more components here, I would say, than in your standard timing chain kit. But again, we, we kind of go in there, we do these once. Most of the time, people ask the time frame. Most of the time we check these anywhere near 100,000 miles. Uh, you know, 
dealers, uh, uh, factory dealerships, uh, manufacturers consider them to be lifetime. But as we know, like lifetime, th th there's got to be a range there. So what we have seen is most of the time around 100,000 miles. We at least check them. So one of the things you can do to check these tensioners, we don't have to tear everything apart to look at that. We can get the car in, uh, you can schedule it with us, we can get it in and most of the time within an hour, we can kind of pull the components we need out of the way, get to that uh, plug that Jerry was showing you there. So we can actually show, or, I'm sorry, so we can actually look and see, get a picture for you to show you how far this tensioner is out. Um, and if we see that, you know, that's when we'll say, hey, we need to do a time and chain kit. We do not replace these as individual components or kind of a half of a kit. We get those questions a lot. Um, we do the whole thing. Just do a one and done, do everything right, reseal everything, new covers. You won't have any oil leaks. You don't have to worry about any chain stretch issues for, you know, hopefully another 100,000 miles. So. And uh, with oil leaks, uh, they tend to uh, leak down on your drive belt. And with the kit that we use, comes with a new drive belt. So get that for free. Yep. Pretty much. So we just finished going over pretty much all the components in the timing chain kits uh, that we've replaced during a service. So uh, reach out to one of our locations. We'd be happy to get you in, uh, check it out for you, kind of check that chain stretch like we talked about. And uh, if you end up needing some services, we can take care of you.